there. Hi, welcome back to Geek and Sun. Guess what we're working on today? Dun dun dun! 69 Charger, General Lee. General Lee to be. Well, what are we doing? I'll show you. So, you know how I mentioned that this, this quarter panel right here needs to come out a little bit? Well, check it out. I got my measuring stick right here. And if you put it up against it, see there's a gap. We don't want a gap. That's annoying. Now, is the door closed perfectly? Maybe. This door, see, I want to measure it since that line's pretty close. Even that line's pretty close. But when you get to here where it should, should be even, it ain't even. When you get to there, it's not even. It's close, but not quite. So what'd I get? I got, see that big red stick looking thing? It's a pump. It's called a ram. You know, ram. Yeah. Came in this big here box, I'll show you. You can get it off of Amazon. I'll leave the link below. Well, it's upside down, but it's called the big red. Do I really have to turn it around? Okay. It's called the big red or big red jacks hydraulic ram system comes with all these little parts in it and so basically what it will do comes with it comes with this squishy thing and this pushy thing and this fork thing and this forky thing and all that can you see me hi so this bar i'm going to put in between here and it's going to push them both push them both out okay so i'm gonna hello i'm gonna climb in there and then see what i can do here i come whoever whoever welded this floor did a great job because my foot is not going through it i'm just scared to put all my weight on oh come on i did a good job what are you talking about i'm in the car for once I'm in the car. Problem? Steering wheel's on the wrong side. Oh, and there's no engine. And there's no dash. And there's no steering wheel. I suppose if I got a really good grip on there. Hey, here's a, here's a joke for the vice grip garage guy. Can you drive a car with a vice grip steering wheel? Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? This here's the gas pedal. My lighting kind of sucks in here, doesn't it? Brake pedal, emergency brake. I actually, I don't think I made a video of this, but I actually had this all apart and rebuild it, put new bearings in it, etc. So it's gonna be fancy. And the dash and the heater core and all that stuff will be good too. So anyway, we're inside the car. This is the original door to the car. This one ain't. But I still have two brand new doors. Um, I could use this one. It's not bad. I, I could use this one. But it's just kind of gross. And I, when I was first learning how to do uh, welding and bodywork, um, there were a couple of corners. Like I think on each corner of this door, the bottom, and that door, I had them both off. And I welded in a, a patch and then sanded it down. But the door still kind of not perfect as much time and effort I put in this car I want it to be a really good job I mean I almost um, cut the roof skin off because I was like how am I supposed to get all these little dings out of here but I spent like 13 hours getting those dings out and smoothing it down and now it's beautiful it's pretty interesting I, I really am excited I mean it's just sitting in this car, I'm like, wow, it's getting close. When I was a kid, I was hanging out with this, this older 11th grader. And he had a 68, I believe. It was, it was either 68 or 69. I suppose it could have been a 70. Whatever it was, it was this style of a charger. And the auto shop teacher, mean old Mr. Jansen, said, you got to get that out of here. Actually, he must have been a 12th grader, or maybe he was graduated. Whatever it was, the, the auto shop's teacher's like, you need to get it out of here. There's no engine in it, there's no seats in it. It's funny, his name was Eric, I think. I, I barely knew him. 
anyway, hanging out with him in the auto shop and he wanted my help because he lived, oh, I don't know, a mile away, but it was downhill. <laughs> you can believe that. So, yeah, he had a car that ran and he gave me like a milk crate. <laughs> How stupid was I just thinking about this? He gave me a milk crate to sit on in his car and he pushed me down the hill in his car. No engine. It had a steering wheel. It had probably drum brakes, I would imagine. Um, and I rolled it down the hill until I, uh, he starts honking at me to turn, turn, turn. Ridiculous. Those are what teenagers did in the olden days, kids. We were just crazy. I do. Hopefully you can see well enough. I'm gonna take this here tunnel thing that I've, this tunnel thing? This ram thing that I've never used. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna squish that out about a quarter of an inch. Then I'm gonna tack it in place either with a weld or maybe a screw or we'll see what happens. But you'll be here to witness it. Here we go. On the original TV show, that's why I'm building this, Luke says to Uncle Jesse, I think it's what are you doing? on uh, the door when they shut. find the general, What are you actually. doing that for? In season well, seven, well, the door they shut say, on a racing car for Uncle safety. Jesse says to Luke, How do you why don't you in? just uh, climb through the windows? Why are you welding the door shut? And Luke's like, for safety sake, for racing. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna weld these doors shut. That would be ridiculous. That oh boy. I'll tell you what, sometimes it's a lot of work. I just hope you can see me well enough. There ain't a lot of light in here. I'm gonna roll this here window up. It probably hasn't, definitely hasn't been rolled up in probably five years. Probably more than that. Look at that. Works like a charm. I can access the other side. I'll put this in there just so I don't lose it. That gets the window out of the way. That's nice and crooked, feels like. I'm gonna strip the shit out of it. Good enough. Okay. Now, if you look, I've got a ton of crap in here. It's building up again already. So, what I gotta do. Find a good plate. Let's hook this baby up first. I forgot gloves, huh? Now you're probably saying to yourself, why don't you just hold it there and do it? Because I want it to be as accurate as possible. I mean, I'm gonna like measure it, make it so it's flush. Because I'm telling you, I've been to some car shows and I see some of these cars, I'm like, you took all that time and you didn't do that? There's a there's a really good looking uh, orange uh, 69 Dodge Charger 440 RT uh, with the fancy everything, even a four speed. And uh, maybe it's not four speed, it doesn't matter. Anyway, repainted orange and they didn't paint the taillight panel black. It looks stupid, you know? And the guy doesn't know any different. He's just an old guy. I honestly thought about buying it from him. I'd be, I'd paint the taillight panel, put the old one and the flag on and be done. But, you know, he's had the car since he was a kid. You know, I can't, I couldn't do that to him. He, he would know, I doubt if he would know what it's worth. I wouldn't do that to him. This, you would not believe the crap that's on eBay and all these sites for just garbage chargers. I got a steal on this charger compared to what they're paying for them. And it was a rusty pile of crap when I got it. Check out, check out the first video. It's gonna be choppy and not very good, but you'll be able to see the car. Both recorders gone, gigantic dents in the back. Um, the whole trunk floor was gone. Up here was gone. I mean, I've spent, this is now year five, almost year six. We're almost into year six. I gotta get this done. I've got the engine, body works, Almost done. Almost done. So close. I got everything from radiator to drive line, everything. Engine, transmission, everything. So if you look right here, I haven't welded these yet. Okay, right here along this line. So when I push it out, it's just gonna push this out a little bit. Okay. And on this side, let, let's see how it lines up. Now that's that's pretty close to perfect right there. I mean 
except for this line right here doesn't line up. So I'm gonna cut it right here, just barely. I mean, any regular person would never notice that at all. But as much time and money as I put in this, it's gonna be straight. Straighter than it came from the factory. Um, that's one of the things I saw at a car show. Beautiful um, blue charger, beautiful car. These lines were really far off. Somebody slapped some quarters on, you know, probably took it to a local body shop, slapped them on, done. Do a beautiful. Where's that stick? Way over there. So it worked. I can tell you right now it worked. It's perfectly exactly right where I want it. I mean, I'm guessing what it looks like it is. Let's check. Oh yeah. Perfect. Boom. Okay. I gotta find a way to tack it there. <laughs> I think if I open the door, it'll be fine. This, I remember bending in a little bit right here. That I'll fix. With some hammer and dolly. Look at that. Beautiful, perfect. Look down the side. Boom. Actually sticks out a little bit too far right there. But compared to what it was, it's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna try now is the part that makes me nervous because this door nine times, nine and a half times out of 10 will not latch. I bet if I pull on it, it will pop open. Let's see. You're making a liar out of me. Maybe straightening that out did it. Let's see. So again, <laughs> the door does not latch. That's the first time it's latched and who knows how long, long, long time. What I gotta do open it up and then uh, tack that baby in just a couple of boom click click boom boom and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this door look how straight it is and I can't believe it won't open <laughs> I'm telling you I've never had it latch I swear let's open it up okay now, you can see where it moved, exactly where I wanted it to. Perfect. Okay. So I already made some holes from before. I've got some down there, it looks like, too. So I'll drill another one right there, another one right there, and I'll tack that baby on. And it won't move anymore. All it was is the stupid little thing. But now it'll look awesome. Okay. You stay right here. I get the real. All right, one gigantic thing I learned from working on this kind of stuff is always have safety glasses and have gloves. The other day I was messing with this and I, I, I had lost the whatever I was pushing on and just killed my finger. Like, holy crap, hurt my finger. I don't think I've had that much pain since my ex Oh, I thought I was gonna say my ex-wife. I was gonna say, since uh, some other time that was really painful. Again, you can see where it's moved. Just popped out right here. And all I did is put this little bar in here and that's all it did, okay? So I'm gonna drill a couple holes right here. I'd like to bang that down, I will later. I'm gonna move it on accident. Let's just put, oh, that's drill bit's too big. Bigger than I thought. Well, that'd be all right. You don't want to do them too close or too far on the edge. So one, you might wreck the edge and two, you might miss this other piece. Okay, so mainly what I really want to get tacked is right here. So we'll be right there. It ain't Swiss cheese. It's pretty thick here, I guess. Did I just get really weak or something? Oh look, there's a sticker. Tells you about your vehicle capacity. Did somebody paint this white at some point? Where's that primer? Hmm. Anyway. Man, 
It's like it's barely going through. Is it dull or something? These are my grandpa's welding gloves. I don't know about you, but that, that's cool to me. So I'm gonna try out these welding gloves <laughs> from the 1970s probably. And uh, we'll see how they work. Sentimental, it's not a bad thing. Gentlemen, don't look into the light, Carol Ann. Ding da 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 It's so hard to weld, to hold the camera, to grind, to blah blah blah. Can you see me? We're getting there. You don't want to do them too close. Boy, those welds kind of suck, but good thing you have a grinder, right? <laughs> it's funny how it takes you a minute to get back to it. What are you clicking for? It takes you a minute to get used to stuff like ruining my winder. That's gonna do it for now. Uh, let it set overnight, come out, grind it off, see what needs to be redone. Hi, welcome back, it's the next day. Check it out, booyah, and the door's latched. Miracle, okay. So what I'm gonna do next is grind down the welds. Look at them beautiful welds. Okay, they're not beautiful, but, but they have a nice personality. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. I'll let you watch because it's so entertaining. Don't forget to get safety glasses. So, I'm gonna grind these welds off. Hopefully you can see. Here we go.
can't believe after all this time I figured out what to do, how to shut this door. You just lift up as you're shutting it in a latch. It's amazing. So let's take a look. Well, we got some metal right there where I bent it. And I even ground it down a little too much right there. It actually seems like it's a little too far in now. This came out a little too far. And it's on there now, it ain't going nowhere. Now I got the reverse problem though. Anyway, let's take a look. Pretty damn good. So now I'll get some primer, spray over it so it can not have to worry about it rusting. And uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you mention in the comments, you know, what you think. Remember, this is not a fancy pants shop. This is me in my garage. So, yeah. You're gonna run. Remember, this is real life. I've never done this before. I'm gonna show you the mistakes I make and how I solve the problems. Because, you know, it's not perfect. You see some, some shops put these together. Even some other guys put things together. They are perfection. They've done it thousands of times. Line it up, first try, boom, 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 they're done. This is a five year project so far, and it's not even painted. So, not that I've done it every day, but you know, after work, weekends, holidays, etc. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you watching. Bye bye.